Uh, if you ever wondered what it's like to be a detective trying to solve a mystery, uh, well, today we'll take a closer look at uh, the world of cryptocurrency and try to unravel the secrets behind one of the most popular tokens on the market, ADA. Uh, but before we dive in, uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of Pardon? Uh, if not, uh, let me give you uh, a brief overview. Uh, uh, Cardano is a decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project that was created by Charles Hoskinson in 2015. The project's goal is to provide a more secure and scalable platform for decentralized applications and to create a new financial system that is more uh, accessible and inclusive. Uh, so what does this have to do with ADA? Well, ADA is the meted token of the Pardano blockchain. You know, it's used to facilitate transactions on the network um, and to reward users for participating um, in the network's consensus mechanism. And now let's get back to our mystery. On the 12th of March, Hoskinson posted on X that the project would try out the Hyperfledge Firefly. Hyperfledge Firefly is an open source node designed to scale blockchains, but Hoskinson made it clear that the test is not a guarantee that Cardano would adopt a super node. The project would test its compatibility with the stake pool operator, which is responsible for running nodes on the network. Uh, uh, scaling Cardano might enable more off-chain transactions and increase user demand, um, but over the years, the project has not been able to attain the height it desires. This has also affected ADA, its native token. In fact, a and Crypto evaluated ADA's on-chain data using sentiment. As of this writing, the total number of ADA holders have dropped from 4.49 million to 4.46 million in the last 30 days. A decline like this could be attributed to the price performance. In the last month, ADA's price has increased by 42.39%. However, should Cardano forge ahead in its scaling plans, uh, more investors could be attracted to the token, uh, but that alone might not be able to convince market participants to uh, be part of uh, the ADA cohort. Uh, uh, concerning development activity, A and B Crypto observed that the metric declined. As of December 2023, the metric was 96.11. However, press time data placed the reading at 57.4, uh, uh, but there's hope for those who trust in the project. If this happens, it would serve as confirmation that the perception had become bearish. If the broader market is bearish on the Carbono native token, then demand might decline further, while the price might also drop. Uh, however, uh, another metric that suggested a good long-term view for ADA was the mean point age. This metric indicates uh, relative activity between hodlers and short-term quick profit accounts, uh, spikes in EVs that admits to, uh, to complete it. Now, whether uh, we wanted to consider uh, a sequence regardless, uh, that 91 uh, plunging to uh, the, uh, this decline infers that some long-term holders are accumulating and retiring the token, the cold wallet, but uh, that does not mean that ADA's price would increase overnight if holders decide to send the tokens into exchanges later, the price might plunge. Uh, on the other hand, an increase in cold storage could increase the chance of an exponential growth. And uh, so what, what can we learn from this? Well, it's clear that the world of cryptocurrency is full of ups and downs, but if you're willing to take the risk to get an M being a hold and a mental reward, and the threat of this stuff is so good because that is 